What's up everyone, Super Miko here today, and welcome to Throwback Friday. There's actually going to be like three f Throwback Fridays in a row, because I have a lot of old sets I want to review. Today we're reviewing Lego Alpha Team, Mission Deep Sea, Ogle Mutant Squid, which is set 4796, and it has 61 pieces, which seems like a really small piece count, but I mean, this thing is pretty big, like, for 61 pieces, which I think justifies it as a more expensive set. I don't really know how much it did cost. I paid more than I should have, even with the size of it, but we're going to be taking a look at this set today. Before we do that, I want to take a look at the instructions, because... First of all, they look really nice, but on the back, there is two alternate builds, which I think both of these are really cool. I wish that it gave you instructions, but it wants you to imagine, which I guess that's fine, too. There's also in here a comic, which I think starts there. It's like this: the squid is approaching, like, an octopus, I think, is what's happening. And then there's the octopus, the octopus is on a rope there. And that other guy there, I don't think I'm capturing this very well, but the other guy there is taking the octopus away so then he can't get it. But then he does, so bad guys win, I guess. Um, not, not a great ending, but I mean, it is a bad guy set, so I guess it makes sense. There's also an access code thing, which also has some nice art here. I don't know if I'm giving anyone an access code. I doubt it works for anything, but there's also an advertisement here for other Mission Deep Sea sets, which I didn't even know existed until I saw this. And now I want to get a lot of these. Like, that shark one is really cool. Uh, that thing's really weird, which is why I want that one. And the other one I like isn't actually on this advertisement. But yeah, that's the instructions. So now we're going to take a look at the actual set. So the figure in this set is Ogle, who's the bad guy. I'm going to open this up because I feel like you can see my face, but it's very reflective and it's cool. But his face, he has a really cool face print with, like, his red eye there. That's crazy. But the best thing about this figure, this is actually, like, one of my favorite figures ever, which is probably unpopular because there's no printing on him. But he has, a, a like, a transparent dark red hook hand. Or I guess it's normal red, that's just how the transparent looks. But that's crazy, his armor piece is crazy. Like, that's awesome. And also the very reflective helmet is cool. So yeah, amazing figure. The build of this set is also really cool. It's supposed to be a mutant squid, but really it's like a squid mech more than a mutant squid. It is squid shaped, which you can see. And it's dry. it drives like this, I think, if you could call it driving. The tentacles each have three articulation points because they're three separate pieces. You can move them around however you want. Now I'm going to spend forever trying to get that in the exact same position as all the other ones. There's also these really cool claw pieces here, which I think mo I don't think I've ever seen these before, so I don't know how often they're really used, but they're cool. And what else is cool is this like clear greenish yellow spear in here and there's another piece in the back if the camera would focus at all that's also clear like yellowish green like that and that looks really cool and the eyes are the same color you can see an eye there and there's the R one and then there's binoculars I don't really know what the point of those are the clear red uh cockpit is also very cool there's jet engines here as well which can move you can also move it this way so I guess you can really have this thing move in whatever direction you want and yeah it's just a really cool build this also comes off whoa that did not go perfectly but this is like an escape pod also and if you want to see how ogle fits in here this is also hard to take apart I don't know what is up with the set and taking it apart but once it's opened up like that you can just take Ogle and sit him down all nicely right there. He has like that little rest back there for him. And there's also a cool print here. There you go. You can see very nice print there. And yeah, once he's in there, I'll put him back in. You can close this up. He does have to be leaning back a certain amount to do that. 
so that's not really a problem or anything. There's also holes in the side, which is kind of a problem, but it's not a big deal. And then you can just reattach that onto the squid, and he's ready to go and capture an octopus, I guess. I don't really know what his goal is. I don't know much about Alpha Team, but I would like to because this is a very cool set. And it would be really cool if the camera focused. There we go. So overall, of course, I think this is a great set, especially if you can find it for a good price, unlike I did. But yeah, I would highly recommend this. Um, maybe expect more Alpha Team. I don't know if I'm going to get any anytime soon, but I would love to because this thing, like I said, is great. And some of the R sets that I showed in the instructions were great. So it seems like an interesting theme. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this Throwback Friday even though it was like very unprofessional and I will see you in another video.